And I know what needs to be done, particularly in Africa. It has to do a lot with who is sitting in the driving seat. Now that I've been in State House as well, I know that political governance and economic governance, the, the, the president of that country must be interested to make sure that a conducive climate is created in order for business to flourish. One thing that was very clear was that there was no freedom of, pray, of press, of association of speech. Number two, the governance institutions were very weak. So as a leader, that's up to you, that you can do. You can easily create an environment where people are free to speak and to write about anything, including about you. But I think that uh, it's not easy to talk of corruption. It's hard. Because you are fighting people who are benefiting from the trade. <laughs> and they'll fight you back. Yeah. And they'll drag you down. You may never get out. But you must make a decision. Do I, what, what do I want to do? And for me, I decided to put my people first. Yeah. But w w if, if what I see across Africa is that there's a crop of African leaders that are coming up that are on the same page, yes. that are saying, yes, I'll put my political career online, but this must stop.